Go. So last night when we were done, uh, they actually had another call late at night, it was dark, about this uh, monkey that had somehow had an injury to his face. So today's day two. My dad just finished doing surgery on a monkey, which was really cool. His jaw was split open. I was pretty surprised they caught him. I mean, uh, he's going to be hurt, he's going to be scared, he's going to be running around and it's dark out, but the team at PFA, again, is amazing. We're about halfway through the day, so excited to see what comes next. So much poverty here. These are just shacks that people are living in. Basically, room for a bed, that's it. Rough situation. So when I came in today to see what rescue cases we have, uh, they showed me the monkey. He wasn't eating, so he might be dehydrated, in a lot of pain. We didn't know uh, how serious it was, so we decided to do him before any of the other rescues. We had trouble kind of figuring out what to anesthetize him with. Go. We have a... Uh, can I come over there? Yeah. Okay. Has he been given anything? Any medicine? No, sir. No penicillin, amoxicillin? Just the, mel the medica- the meloxicam. Okay. What are we going to sedate him with? So they actually use a, a product I don't use very much anymore called xylazine. He's not dehydrated. He's got a broken jaw. The initial exam showed that he had a broken jaw here. Can I come with? Show me where it is. So we were able to shift his lower jaw. So there's a, a medial symphysis, like a cartilage piece right here that if they take trauma can, can, can break pretty easily. Is that all we got? Okay, these will work. These two will work. So we cleaned up his face, he had a laceration on the top of his head where the skin had been pulled back. It's got to be with a needle, or get me some needles. The eyes seem intact, the pupils are, are, are properly constricted. We kind of checked out the rest of him and found on his paw, he had lost the skin on his knuckles and on his pad. So we cleaned up the paw, removed that skin, that's going to be fine. None of the bones are broken, internally he seems okay. Can you roll this? Roll the vein. I got a good one here. We had trouble getting in an IV line, but got that in alright and gave him some fluids under the skin as well. All the way, let's go all the way. Keep doing that, Emily. No, just keep holding it. Just hold it. Sutured up that. Oh, it just stares okay. So, well, I'm not this one. The stitches are not exposed, they're all hidden under the skin so he can't pick at them. Do we have anything absorbable? Because I'll do uh, under the skin. Shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two cc's. Two mils. Yeah, you can give it. And then lastly, fix that jaw. When we looked closer though, there was actually a break and a tear in the, the palate. So we had to quickly throw a suture in there to kind of bring that together. Sorry, dude. So we basically take really thick gauge suture and put it up and we hook it around the fangs down and then tie it to basically bring it together. We did it twice. It's going to tighten it at least enough for the tissue to start to tighten and, and contract. 
the handler here at PFA was doing an amazing job keeping me safe, keeping the whole team safe and himself safe and allowing us to work on the monkey. And basically he'll be on soft food and painkillers for a while. I think he's going to do all well, do all right. We're not out of the woods yet, but uh, but I think we're going to do okay. So we're going to come and check up on him regularly, and and hopefully we'll be releasing him uh, into the wild shortly. Thanks for watching.